Hi, I'm George, and you're looking at the new VideoProc Vlogger free video editing program. And that's right, I just said free. With no watermarks, no monthly subscription, no limits on features, no limits on quality or experts, it's truly a full featured free program. I want to thank VideoProc for sponsoring this video. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Okay, let's first take a look at the basics in here. Left hand side, this is where your media is. You can see here we have videos and then right down here, pictures, music, you can do subtitles as well, all real easy to do. Simply add in new media by clicking on the plus sign, choose a little media clip, I'll just choose that one, open it up, and there you go, that brings it right in. It's that easy to do. There are also a whole series of transitions in here. If I scroll down, you see how far down this goes, just loads and loads of different transitions, fades, dissolves, stuff like that. A lot of pre-built title effects in here and some video effects as well. Again, a lot in here to look at. In the middle window, of course, this is your preview window, your play controls and so forth are right in here. Down here are some specialty buttons. We'll be looking at a lot of this stuff as we go through this review. Right hand side, information about your specific video clip that you're looking at over here. Down below is our timeline. You see I have some video down here already. I also have some music down here. I'll show you how to work with that in just a little bit. Okay, it's just some real easy things. First off, Let's take a look at this one video clip right here. As you can see, it's, it's interesting. It's nothing dramatic though. And it's a little bit on the dull side. The blacks aren't very black. That's easy to fix. Just go over here, right hand side. And as you can see here, we have a whole bunch of these different sections to work with. Let's just get this clear down here. There we go. So we have time and duration, opacity, color and filter, transform, volume, reverse play, play speed, Lens distortion, correction, blurring and smoothing. You can even change voice and some other stuff right down in here. Auto level and de-interlace. Let's try the auto level first. There we go. It may be a little bit much, I think, a little bit too dark. So I'm just going to pull that back just a little bit in there. That's pretty good. Let's see if we can do better than that. I'm just going to uncheck that. And let's go up here instead and try the color and filter. And we'll try our contrast right here. I'm just going to boost the contrast up just by clicking on this up arrow. And I'll go one click at a time to find a good setting. I'm trying to get some nice dark without losing my lines in there. And that looks pretty good. I think that's okay. There's also a full color and filter editor right here. Let me just bring that up real fast. You can see this. Loads of stuff in here as well. We have different preset settings left hand side here. And we have these for lifestyle, portrait, landscape, and even favorites. You can do a favorites list if you want to. Or right hand side, you can adjust your color, your tint, exposure, contrast, saturation, highlights, shadows. Just loads of stuff. Let's boost our highlights a little bit here so we can make those a bit brighter. There we go. Maybe a little bit more saturation on that. Looks good. I'll apply that. Let's now see how that clip looks. I'm just going to pull back here about to the beginning of that. Click on the play button. And there's some of that music playing as well in there. Looks really good. I'll stop that. I'm also going to delete the music, hit the delete key. Just get rid of that for right now. We'll come back to the music in just a little bit. So as you can see, real easy to adjust your film clips. Now this film clip down here is pretty long. If we look up here right hand side, this is 32 seconds long. I want something a lot shorter, about 15 seconds, but about half that length. So I'm going to come in here. I'm just going to find a spot about halfway through, right about in here somewhere. You can use these little arrows here to step back and step forward one frame at a time to get just the exact spot that you want. Right there is exactly where I want that to be. Then I'll go here and just click on split. And you see there's a split and a split all. The split all would split a whole bunch of tracks down here. We can have overlay tracks, audio track, and so forth. It would split everything. I'm just going to split just this one with split and there it is. Now I also have this set up here as a ripple edit. Options ripple and time stretch. Ripple edit is your standard editing. And then I'll click on the left hand side. I'm just going to hit the delete key and watch as I do that. Everything here on the right hand side is going to shift over to the left and fill in that gap. So here's the delete key. And there we go. It just shifted everything over. So this is now only about 15 seconds long, which is much more what I want. Let's click on that. We'll see what we actually have. Okay, 16.31. So that looks good. I'll scrub back and forth here with your play hit. Just do it like that and see what you have. Or you can jump back to the beginning here. Click the play button. This will play from where you're at. There's our play button. I'll come down here somewhere and play, pause, play, or click on this button and play the whole thing from the beginning. There it is. Now, as we go through here, I have some slow video here. I'm just going to play this regular speed. It's a little slow. We're going to adjust that with some speed up effects. And there's some more things down here, some more Ferris wheel and so forth. Now, notice how this is kind of going off the end here a little bit weird. I'm going to click up here where it says fit size. 
and this fits everything down here onto the timeline. You can see I have quite a bit of video down here. We'll be using some of this and not some of the other parts. This one's a bit long, for instance, needs some contrast adjustments. I could come in here and do a bit of work on that one. But let's come down here to our Ferris wheel again. And let's say I wanted to make this one just a bit more interesting. If I go back here to the beginning of this Ferris wheel clip and play that, you see it's just sitting in one spot. I mean, it's nice, lots of flashing colors and so forth. That's interesting, but there's no movement to this. Let's solve that movement by adding in a bit of motion. Click right here, it says motion. And this brings up the motion enter turn. And this is a floating window. You can see it right there. It's floating on top of your other window. And in here, left-hand side, this is your video clip right here. Right-hand side is how it looks after the motion has been applied. And there's a lot of stuff in here. You can do a zoom in, fast zoom in, zoom out, move right, move left, move up, move down. You can do a roll here, cinematic open, vertical open, all kinds of neat stuff. We'll do something really simple. I'm just going to do a move to the right. We'll add that. And this shows you the beginning frame right here. And down here, if I click on number two, this is the ending frame over here. You can adjust the position by moving the marker. And I'll put it right down here towards the right side, just like that. There it is. And I can skip back and forth between those two keyframes. There we go. Also, notice these control handles in here on this window. I can actually grab a corner here. I'm going to make this a bit larger. And I'll start down here. Let's come back over here to our next keyframe. And I'll move this one up a little bit. And I'll pull this one back just a bit. So I'm seeing more of that. I just want to keep that center in our image. OK, let's now see how this looks. Click on play. So there we go. We now have a motion happening in here, which makes the shot much, much more interesting. All the nice fancy colors. But there's also a bit of movement in here. It just makes it a much better shot. And then with turning that down to 15 seconds also improves that shot quite a bit. Okay, so I'm happy with that motion. Let's click the apply. There we go. Let's now see how that looks in our video. Click on the play button. There it is. You'll see have our contrast is back in here again as well. And that looks real nice. I think we're just fine on that one. Okay, so you can do these interesting motion effects. Let's go over here to our next clip. There we go. Now, I like the shot. It's interesting, but it's a little bit slow. I want a faster pace for this video, and this really is just a bit dull. Also, the way these particular rides work, they start out slow, then they pick up the pace. They kind of speed up. This one never does. It just stays this pace for this whole video clip. So I think we can fix that one. And you can do that right down here where it says speed. Let's, let's bring our speed editor up. And notice we have a lot of different speed options in here. Constant, custom, montage, bullet. This shows you a speed up jump here and a speed down. This is a fast, higher speed, slower speed, higher speed. Here's going from a slower speed to a higher speed, back to a slower speed again. I'm going to reset right there. And we have these control handles in here. What I really want is to have it pick up this pace, but fairly straight. Come down here, it says speed up like that. That's really what I want. But I also want to come in here and be able to have it kind of a smooth increase. So if I go back to the beginning, as you can see here, it's a slow ramp up. But it's real even paced on that ramp up. I think I want to get it into the faster speed more quickly than that. So let's come down, grab this one here. It's a fast out, kind of slow, and then picks up pretty quickly in here. But I don't want it to be this long before it begins to ramp up. So I'm going to just grab this and I'll move this marker right down to here. Now notice this little bit here. This is a control handle allowing you to control the ramp up. So I can curve it up and it will kind of slowly ramp up into that higher speed. This is a nice little even curve here. And I want it pretty fast for most of us. I'm going to pull this back a little ways here. Let's come back to this one, and I'll even out that curve up. So it's a nice curve up and up to our fast speed. Let's now see how that looks. Come back here to the beginning. Hit the play button. So they're slow. Begins to ramp up in here, and it begins to be a lot faster on this ramp up. Looks more like an actual ride now. And then there we go. Now it's too fast in there. That's just a bit much. So I'll pull this one down a little bit. And let's pull this one down again. About in there. I don't want it going too crazy. We'll check that. Again, just pull the playhead back to the beginning. And play. There's our slow ramp up starting right in here. Feels more like an actual ride. Needs to spin up nicely there. And that's a pretty good pace. It's maybe a little bit fast. But we're going to chop that off, so I think that's okay. Click Apply, and that now applies that. Notice how it really shrank that down. It was over about this much. It's now smaller section because, of course, it's going faster. The video takes less time. Okay, let's go back to the beginning here, and let's go back to our media library. Let's do a little green screen thing here just for the fun of it. I have a green screen right here. I'm just going to pull this down onto this overlay track, and I'll pull it over 
There we go, so that's at the very beginning. And the overlay is gonna be actually working above. Now the size here is not quite right, so I wanna resize this to fit. Click on this button right here. This gives you layout rectangle, which allows you to adjust the size. I can spin it by clicking on this handle up here and just dragging it back and forth, or I can grab these corners and actually stretch this to fit right there. So this now fits properly in our window. So it's now fitting on top of that. That looks good. Now I need to come in here and get the green screen working on this. And that's over here on the right hand side again. Right down here it says chroma key green screen. Let's open this one up. Scroll down just a little bit and I'll choose enabled. There we go. It takes out that chroma key green color. Now you can choose different colors if you need to. Click on that. You can choose a specific color even using an eyedropper to grab a color from your video. But it already was set for the green color. Okay, now the length here is a bit off on that, but that's okay, we'll fix that. Let's just see what this looks like. Hit the play button, and about halfway through, it begins to zoom in on this window here. There we go, a little zoom in happening on that. It kind of has an advertising commercial effect to it. Okay, it's fine with that zoom in. I'm just going to back up here. It looks like the zoom happens right about in there. Let's just back up a couple of notches. And I think right here is a pretty good spot for that. So we'll just split that and I'll delete that front part, hit the delete key. Let's move that back. And we now should have a nice window on there. Let's go ahead and we'll see how that works. And hit the play button. And here we go. We'll begin to see that motion happening. There it is. It's now gonna go through that window with that green screen having been removed into our video in behind. So real easy to use green screen. And this right over here where it just says chroma key. You can adjust your tolerance and smoothness to improve your effect. I think ours is just about perfect on that. I don't see any problems in there in the least. Okay, let's say I wanted to have a little bit of a picture within picture. You can do that as well. Let's just pull this forward a little ways and I'll get up here. I'll find the beginning of this clip, which is right here. Now for a picture within a picture, it's the same idea as we just did with that green screen. So I have a bit of video right here. I'm just gonna grab this down here to the overlay, drop that on, and that comes in and sits right on top of your other video. Notice if I play here, it just sits right in there. If you wanna move that, just click our button here. We can then grab this and place it in where you want. I'll put it right up here. Let's back up just a little bit. There is kind of a sunset spot. It's a little weird looking in here. I'll go past that bit. We'll start right there. Same thing, I'm going to click on split and I'm doing split and not split all. If I did split all, it would cut both of these. I don't want that. So just split, hit the delete key, remove that and I'll move this right back here. Let's find our beginning spot again on that. And that's right there. Move that into the same place. Okay, let's come down just a little bit so I can see our picture better. There we go. Let's now adjust the quality of this image. Go back up here once again and back into color and filter. I'll just bring the contrast up a bit until we get some nice blacks happening in there and a bit more saturation, I think, on that. A bit more exciting. Maybe a little bit more exposure on that. And that's looking pretty good. I think we can go with that. Let's now see how that works. Back up here just a little bit. Hit the play button. And there we go. There's our window within a window or a picture within a picture right here. I could spend more time and get the exposure just right and so forth, but this is good enough to show you how easily this works. And you can just place these pictures right inside or right on top of your other video. That easy to do. Let's now bring in a bit of sound on this. And for that, I'll go back to our beginning frame right here. And left hand side, I'll scroll down. And I have some music down here. Same thing, you bring your music in just by clicking on the add music button find your music files, it then brings it into your media library. I'll take this one, which I've already found, I'll put it down here, and there is the music underneath. Now the music is too long, as you can see, right-hand side. So the first thing I wanna do is just to bring this down. Now, if I had several tracks in here, and I was doing a lot of editing, and I had finished all my editing, and I wanted to then finish off everything at this point, I can click down here into my video, and then come in and split all, and it'll cut everything in here, including all of my video lines, all of my overlay tracks, everything at that point, and I can then just delete whatever is after that end. Right now, it's just this one piece, so that's fine. Hit the delete key, and I've taken off that end. Now, we need to edit this just a little bit. Obviously, I think fading out at the end would be a good thing to do. So let's go over here. This button right here is your audio editor. Bring this up. Here we go. Here is your audio. We can fit size right here, or I can zoom out and zoom in up here. Same thing as we had on the video track. I'll bring it back just a touch so I can see where that end is. There's a lot that you can do in here as well. Notice I can bring my volume down, volume up, fade up, fade out. Let's say I wanted to bring it way down here and just fade it right down towards the end. I'll put my playhead right there. And then I'll just pull from that playhead just like that and select that region. So you can select different regions like this. I just want it right down there. And for that, let's do a fade out. 
There we go, it fades out right at that point. That easy to do. We also can come in here and select everything. You can invert mute, you can mute the whole thing. There's even an equalizer in here, a graphic equalizer. You can equalize your sound over your range here of frequencies and also adjust for a classic, dance, bass, sparkle, and so forth. A lot of presets down here for equalizing your audio. I'll leave that alone, we're fine there. And there are even some effects you can add in here. There's an echo effect, reverb effect, low pass, gain, pitch, reverb. A lot of things you can apply that easily. Okay, so I think that is fine. Let's click apply on that, and that gives us our fade out. Right there, you can see that, that's good. Just here that fade out happens. I'll click on the play button right down here. There we go, real nice, clean fade out. Okay, at the beginning up here, I know there's a spot towards the end of this clip, right in here, where it goes to black. So I wanna cut off a little bit of the end of that clip just to remove that touch of black in there. I'm going to edge forward here just a bit, and if I look at my time right here, it's 10.83. So about 10 seconds will be just fine to get rid of that. But I want to also put that cut at the beat in my audio track, at the beat in the music, so that the cut happens at the beat, which makes it a much cleaner cut. So for that, I know it'll be around 10 seconds. So we're here on our audio track, back to the audio mixer right here. Here's our 10 second point right here. And I had this nice dip right there just past that 10 seconds. There's a beat happening. Let's zoom in on that so I can see that better. There we go. If I pull this forward just a little bit right in that gap here, there's a nice beat at that point. So I want to be able to cut my video at that spot. And you can do that by coming down here and adding in a marker right there. Click on add marker. There it is. You can see that little marker right there, a little gray line. If I click on apply, that marker is now sitting here, right there, on my audio track. If I pull this playhead back, it's going to snap right to that marker. Right there, there it is. If I click up here, and I move my playhead, it's still going to snap to that marker. It snapped just there. I can then split at that point, delete that little bit, and I've now put that cut right at that beat, right at that marker, on my audio track. Okay, see so how this looks with the music added to it? Here's the play button. Okay, let's say I have this whole thing finished editing and I'm ready to export that. At your button, right over here where it says export. Click on that, it automatically saves your file. And then in here, you have lots of export options. You can, you can change your name right here. You can choose where you want to save it to right there. I'm leaving mine in the default setting. You can choose your format. I'll leave that at the MP4 format. Here's your output details right down here. You can choose your quality setting, low, medium, high. You can go up to a high level of five if you want to, or this is really interesting here, high quality engine, lossless mode. So it's not gonna be losing any video quality in here with the high quality engine. If you need to, you also can change your video codec here. You can change your frame rate right down there. Most of the time that's just gonna be locked in with your video and you should leave it as is. You can also come down to the audio section here and choose to export your audio, your sample rate, your bit rate, stereo or mono in here or if you want to just export just the video without the audio, which sometimes you do, you can simply uncheck the audio track as well right down there. And sometimes video exports take a long time, so if you want to, you also can choose to turn your computer off when that is finished, if you're leaving it to work on that overnight. It depends upon how difficult and how long your video clip is. This is really a pretty short clip, this wouldn't take that long. Click on Start, it will then go ahead and export that video using those settings. So there you go, there's a look around this great program, and again, the most amazing thing about this is that it's free. I can't believe that there is this much power in this program for a free program. I've never really seen anything like this. I would pay a good chunk for this kind of video editing program. And I'll put a download link at the top of the description so you can go ahead and click on that and grab your own free copy of this really amazing full featured free video editor. And if you like this video, hit the like button, click on share, click on subscribe, check out my channel for a bunch more videos and reviews, and I'll see you later.